One of my favorite things in the world to do is watch Friends. I know it's been off for years and years. It's not even around, but I still find myself binge watching old episodes. And I was thinking about this today and thinking it's the predictability of the friends in the circle, right? You have Chandler with his quirkiness, Monica with her type A of just everything has to be so neat and tidy and organized. It's Phoebe's ability to make you laugh at her silly songs. Ross always comes in with those smart comments and Joey and him and his food, like it is just so hilarious. And of course, Rachel, she just brings everybody together and it's just such this beautiful, cohesive team of people. And it's why I wanted to come on and share with you today that I have an opportunity for you to find your friends in the content creation space. So if you are thinking about creating your first or your next digital course, I don't want you to miss this opportunity because Amy Porterfield just opened the doors for registration for her course, Confident Bootcamp. And I'm actually offering a special bonus for anyone that registers for the course Course Confident Bootcamp through my special link. So I want you to go to crystalprofit.com forward slash Amy dash bootcamp to register. That's crystalprofit.com forward slash Amy dash bootcamp. And what you're going to find when you get there is I have this special bonus private podcast series. It's called Money Mindset for Creators. So I want you to go register for Amy's bootcamp download the podcast and immediately start listening to it because what this training is set up to do is to help you get your mind right about monetizing your content, making money so that you can fuel your content creation dreams. So go to crystalprofit.com forward slash Amy dash bootcamp to register for course confident. And I cannot wait for you to find your friends and find the people that will be there for you. Do you see what I did there? Yeah. Nice little friends segue connection. Go to crystalprofit.com forward slash Amy dash bootcamp. And I cannot wait to see you inside. Okay. Let's get into today's episode. Okay. Before we dive into today's episode, I get a lot of questions about repurposing content and what that looks like. And I got to tell you, today's episode is a repurposed piece of content. And it's not like something that I did a big presentation for or anything like that. But I just wanted to tell you that I had this idea to create a YouTube video based on everything we're going to talk about here today. And so I did that. And then I was like, wait, I actually need to talk about that on the podcast too. So I just want to let you know, there's no right or wrong way to repurpose your content. And it's not bad if you tell people, hey, this is actually a repurposed piece of content because what I did not do is just strip the audio out of a YouTube video and slap it up here on the podcast. Because that is one thing I don't think works really well is just taking the same piece of content and putting it up in all the places because it doesn't perform the same in different places. So even though the concept I'm sharing here today is similar to what you're gonna see in the recent YouTube video I put out, it is not the exact same. So what are we talking about today? We are talking about the frustrating, frustrating topic of having people on your podcast or having a guest interview on your live stream or any of the like of having to deal with a guest who does not share the content you created together. Yes, this is a real thing. If you're just getting into podcasting or creating content, you're like, wait, Crystal, what are you talking about? What do you mean people aren't excited to reshare a podcast interview, or tell other people about a fantastic live stream that you did together. Oh yes, my friends, this happens so often, so often in fact, that people will come to me and they're like, why does this happen? And I'm like, well, let's break it down. I'm gonna tell you exactly why this happens and 
what to do about it. So you have your guest sharing y'all's collaborations more often. So let's get right to it. Welcome to the Profit Podcast, where we teach you how to start, launch, and market your content with confidence. I'm your host, Crystal Profit, and I'm so excited that you're here. Thanks for hanging out with me today, because if you've been trying to figure out the world of content creation, this is the show that will help be your time-saving shortcut. So let's get right to it, shall we? So if you listen to the show pretty often, you know, I don't call people out. I will not call people out by name when they've done something wrong. But And I've had enough guests on this show now. I mean, here we are. We're at episode 334. There's been enough podcasts created that I can pretty, pretty incognito talk about <laughs> a few of my interviews where I have done really incredible conversations on this podcast. But when the episodes went live, the guests did not share them, right? And what a bummer. What a bummer if you've had this experience where you think, oh my gosh, I had this incredible interview with someone, but they didn't reshare it to their audience. And there's a few reasons why this happens. And more often than not, it's it's usually has to do with they don't know what to do. They don't know how to share an episode because what will happen, and this has happened to me, um, especially whenever I was first getting started with podcasting, the people that were coming on to my show didn't have a podcast themselves or they were just also getting started. And so they didn't really have a social media following. They didn't have an email list. They didn't really have a platform. They were in the process of building one. Therefore, they were like, who am I going to share this to, right? So that was one. Like they they just felt like they didn't have a platform. The second one is they didn't know what to do. Even if they did have a platform, they aren't sure how to share it. And this is the ding, 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 the big issue that we need to talk about today. So as a host of a podcast, a YouTube channel, a live stream show, whatever it is that you're creating You have to take the reins on how you want people to communicate when an episode goes live, when your live stream is going to happen, like whatever that looks like for you, when whatever going live, I'm saying that in quotes, whatever that looks like for you and your content, you need to be the one in control of how this goes down, how it goes out to people, and you need to have a process in place. So I will link in the show notes, crystalprofit.com forward slash episode 334 to a recent YouTube video I just like just recently published that shows you the behind the scenes of what I do. And you're probably going to think it's a little silly. Maybe you're just like, really, Crystal, you created an entire like standard operating procedure that's like half a page (laughs) on what you're supposed to do when a guest, yes, yes. The reason why I did it, one, was to show, you know, show you exactly what to do. That form, by the way, this is the behind the scenes, that Google Doc was not created prior to that video, but the template that I used, the message, the email, that was, that was 100% created to show you what was, what I do in my processes of sharing out guest information because I tell them explicitly what to do. And that was really the the guiding message behind the entire video was you can't just assume people know what to do unless people have been doing this for years and years, which by the way, most people haven't. Like I feel like I've only been doing this for four years and I'm still constantly learning new things all the time. So I don't ever assume that people know exactly what I want them to do when it comes to promotion. Do they do it 100% of the time? No, but the likelihood that they will increases significantly when I say, hey, here's how you can help really get this important information, this great conversation that we had out in front of your people or out in in front of more people. So I think that this is why we have to have this conversation today. So like I said, 
whether it's a podcast, a YouTube appearance, or a live stream, there are tips and tricks to get people to share their guest spot to their audience no matter how big or small. Because it is, it's the absolute worst when you have a guest on your show and they don't share it. They don't share it. And it usually comes down to they don't know what to do. So it's not their fault. Don't get frustrated is what I'm trying to say because people will come to me and they're frustrated. They are, I've had many conversations with podcasters. I've seen conversations in Facebook groups that go pretty bad. Like they are dogging on their guest. And it's like, why are you saying these things out loud? They're pissed off. They're like, I went, I did all this, these amazing things. And this guest didn't share. And I'm like, hold up. What if they didn't know? What if like, you're sitting here talking behind their back, like talking smack about this guest that came onto your show to share these incredible things. But what if they didn't know? They just didn't, like, I am the benefit of the doubt person. I always give people the benefit of the doubt. If they don't share something, I'm like, well, they probably didn't know that you had this expectation on them. So it's your fault. It's not their fault. It's your fault if people aren't sharing stuff on a regular basis. You will always have that outlier, that like that one person that never shares anything. You can't do anything about those people. You can't control any of these people, as a matter of fact. But what you can do is do everything in your power to make sure that this information does get shared out. So here are, there's a few steps to really go through Um and I don't have them numbered, and I'm like, oh, I should have had these numbered, but we're just going to share them. They're going to be numbered in the show notes. So if you want a pretty bulleted list, it'll live in the show notes. It's not going to live here, which is fine because you're probably walking or driving or doing something else anyway. You're not going to write all these down, but if you need to, you can go to the show notes and you'll find them there. So you need a system. This is first and foremost, a system for success so that the changes will increase drastically that your guests will know exactly what to share, how to share, and when to share with their audience. Now, the reason why I say when to share is because if you are doing a guest appearance, like let's put you in the guest shoes for a second, right? I actually use the example, um, I recently was on Podcast uni university, sorry, I said that wrong, Podcast Movement University's stage, which was fantastic. If you're on my email list, you got an email about it before it happened. I emailed you the day that it was happening. I emailed you right when we were live. But here's the thing. If you're on my email list, you know this. I told you exactly what to do. I didn't just say, hey guys, I'm going live. It's going to be a lot of fun. And just kind of leave you hanging. No, no, no. I said, hey, I'm going live. Here's who I'm going with. Here's what you can expect. I told you the topic of what we were talking about. Then I told you when we're going live, like exactly the time. And I gave you a link to join. But I went above and beyond that. I even said, hey, I would love it if you would join us and say, hi, my name is, and insert your name, from Crystal's community. And the reason why I did this is because I wanted to show up as a great guest, but also I wanted to show them that I'm bring like I'm telling people about this, not just oh I'm showing up to present, but I'm actually bringing my audience to come hang out with you and learn more from your content and hopefully they will stick around and find value and attend some more of these other awesome free trainings. So this was one of the points I was making in the recent YouTube video is if you want to attract guests that do that kind of stuff, you need to model it for yourself. So if you are guesting on podcasts, on live streams and YouTube videos, like however you're showing up as a guest on other people's platforms, model the behavior that you want to see guests showing on your show. Being a woman in business comes with its own unique set of challenges, but also so many opportunities. We get ahead by leaning in to what makes us different from business as usual. 
I'm Samantha Hartley, host of Profitable Joyful Consulting, inviting you to a special six-episode series exploring the experience of being a woman in business. You want to hear from women consultants who've hit a million dollars, who sell six-figure engagements, or who've broken their own revenue ceilings? Yeah, those are my clients, and they'll be sharing too. Join me for six must-listen episodes that tackle key challenges for women consultants. Follow Profitable Joyful Consulting on your favorite podcast app. right? So show up on time, show up prepared, show up and have an attitude that you're excited to be there and offer value, but also that you're going to share the important information that you have, like the conversation you and your guests are going to have, or like the host of the show, like that important conversation, you want to share it. So I tagged them on social media right before we were going live. I'm like, hey, I'm excited. And also here's a link to join. Y'all come hang out with us. It's going to be so much fun. Like I really brought the hype because that's what I want people to do in my content. So this is like a bonus tip that you should really model the behavior that you want your guests to have about your content whenever you show up in someone else's content. Okay, makes sense. You're with me. You're nodding. Yes. Okay, awesome. So the next thing is we were talking about exactly what to share, how to share it, and when to share it. So what is the what to share, right? What are you supposed to share with your guest whenever their episode goes live? Here's a few ideas. Number one, a call to action. So if they're like, well, what am I supposed to say? If this is a question you get often or one that you've had as a guest on someone else's content, you're like, well, what am I supposed to say? You could actually script it out. I don't do this because I deal with a lot of people that are already working in content and they feel comfortable making those asks of their audience. But you could literally write out a short little script that says, I was on the Profit Podcast today. Our episode is live. You can go listen to it wherever you listen to podcast. I would love for you to go check it out, leave a rating, leave a review, like whatever. Like you could tell them whatever it is that you wanted them to do, but make that call to action and give them a little script that says, this is what you can say to your audience. Then the next thing is you can share with them the show notes. And this is what I do. And I will, you know, we'll get into this more in a second when I talk about the email that I send to my guest is a template, but I put a link to the show notes because that's what ultimately I want people to do. I want you to go to the show notes and, you know, go to my website because then you're, there's a higher probability that you'll get on my email list that, You will click around and learn more about me and my services and my programs and the different things that I do. Like you'll get to know me better if you go to my website. And so this in the back of my mind, I'm thinking is a really important step to share with all of my guests because I want them to send the traffic that they are bringing from their audience to go to my website as well. Yes, I want them just to listen, like that's baseline. Listen to the episode wherever they listen to podcast, but above and beyond that, I want them to go to my website. So I will intentionally send my guests the link. Here it is, crystalprofit.com forward slash episode, you know, whatever. So that is what I want people to do. And then I also share with them in an email the graphics that I created and any sound bites. That way they don't have to go hunt this stuff down. Y'all, I've had to do this. I've been a guest on other shows and one, they didn't tell me when the episode went live. So I don't share it because I didn't know that the episode was live, but also they didn't send me the graphics or the sound bites. So I had to like go hunt it down, either download it to my computer and it was all pixelated and it did not look really great as opposed to having the original raw file, not the raw file, but the original file. And I, I don't like that. So what I will do is I will send it to my guest and hopefully, again, the probability of them sharing it skyrockets when they have that in hand. And then you tell them explicitly, hey, you can put this on LinkedIn. You could put this on your website. You could put this on Instagram, wherever you want to put this here. You like do whatever you please with this information. But here is like your guest proof that you were on the show. So I I really like that. So those are the things of the what, of what you should share. 
Then how to share this. So how to share guest appearances on your podcast. Some of this is kind of goes into the basics of marketing, but it's send an email to their list. This is what they could do. You could say, hey, you want to send an email to your list that says I was on the blah, blah, blah podcast. And you could have an email if you want an email template. I don't do this currently, but it's not a bad idea. If I know that my guest has a large email list or that they have a certain platform that would work really well to promote the podcast, then maybe I could say, here, I included an email template that you could use to send to your audience. That way they could promote it above and beyond just one Instagram story. Like think outside the box. What's a creative way that you could get your guests to do it? And if you do more of the legwork up front, it's likely that they would say, yeah, I would consider sending an email to my list because you basically wrote out a template for me and I could just tweak a few things and then we'd be on our way and I could send it to my list. So that's number one. And then the second one is tag tag them on social media. I mean, this is so simple. It's very easy. And it's what I do with my guest. I will either do a story about them and tag them, say, hey, you know, today on the podcast, we had Shireen and Chrisella from the Humble and Hustle studio. This is top of mind. This was a recent episode I just did. And I tag them in the story And the likelihood of them sharing it to their audience increases simply from me just tagging them in this story. I know all these these things sound very basic. It's because they are. And it's usually the simple things that a lot of people overlook, which is why we are reiterating them here today. So again, tagging them on social. um, I'm actually, I'm thinking about um, Chrisella and Shireen specifically because I recently did this. And I tagged them on LinkedIn. So it wasn't just Instagram. I tagged them on LinkedIn and I looked at other platforms where I could tag them. That way it was easy for them to either reshare the post that they were tagged in or they could copy and paste the same information that I had and then they could reshare it however they wanted to share it on their platform. So it is a little work up front to make sure you have the Instagram handles or the LinkedIn or YouTube, like whatever platforms that you wanna do this cross promotion on, but it's worth it. It's worth it. What if you got your content in front of 100 more people? What if you got it in front of a thousand more people or 10,000 more people? Like that's a really big deal. And to just go a little bit above and beyond as the host of the show to let your guests know, hey, this is exactly how you can share the content that we created together. So I hope that you will. So again, I know that you. this is so, so simple, but These things need to be reiterated because y'all, I see this all the time. I see when creators get so frustrated, so, so, so frustrated because they're like, I had this guest on and I thought that they were going to share and then they didn't. And I'm like, well, what did you send them to tell them to share? And then they look at me like, well, they should just know. Well, maybe they don't. Like, I mean, it's just as as simple as that. Maybe they don't know to share. So just tell them, tell your people explicitly. All right, so I'm going to share with you. I'm getting it pulled up here. I have an email template. I'm just going to read it to you. It's going to be linked in the show notes, but I wanted to kind of get like your juices flowing on how you could send this to your guest. So this is the email template that I use. And like I said, it's super simple, but it's simple enough for you to tweak it and make it sound however you want it to be, but it also leaves enough wiggle room for you to personalize it to where you're not just sending the same copy and pasted template to all of your guests, but you're able to personalize it to where they feel special, they feel seen, and they know that you went above and beyond for them. That's really what this is all about. It's all about over delivery and showing up as a great host so that hopefully they show up as a great guest and want to come back again. They're like, man, I loved working with Crystal because she went above, she made it easy for me to be a guest on the show. That's really what I want my guests to feel once they've been a part of the Profit Podcast. And I hope that they come back time and time again. So let me read this email to you. It says, hey, 
guest name. There's a lot of like fill in the blank, like this is where you do this. Hey, guest name, your interview is officially live on the Profit Podcast. You can now listen to the episode wherever you get your podcast. Here is the link to the show notes where I'll be sending people in the episode to learn more about you. Now, this is one of the areas where I could say, learn more about you and your business and the specific freebie that you mentioned or the program or the event or the book. Like I could actually personalize parts of this to make it more catered to them. You'll also find a graphic and soundbite attached to this email for you to send to your audience. I'll be tagging you on social media as well, so it's easy just to hit the share to my story feature on Instagram. Thank you so much for sharing your story, your expertise, and your enthusiasm to help content creators on the podcast. Again, this is where you could go into more of a customized message to where you could Like, thank you for sharing the story about branding. Thank you so much for sharing and like insert a specific story that you have that they shared on the podcast. And then it says, please reach out if you have any questions. So I hope that this really gives you some ideas, like I said, for you to use the concept of how can I get guests to show up and be excited about my content and also be reoccurring guests on the show? Because I have learned, like y'all know, if, you, if you're a regular listener of the podcast, I have had people come on the show more than once. I've had Make Hay Sang on the show several times. I have Angie Trueblood coming as a returning guest. I have Heather and Melanie who have contributed multiple times to the show. And it's because I enjoy these interactions and we have this not only great back and forth on camera or off camera or, you know, when we're actually recording an episode, but also behind the scenes. I truly enjoy having the back and forth conversations with them and I'm going to invite them back on the show. Like when an idea or a topic or something trending pops up, I'm like, oh, I'm going to reach out to them. I'm going to see if they can come and contribute to the show and tell me their thoughts. So I want you to number one, Practice modeling the behavior that you want to see in other guests. So if you're a guest on someone's podcast, live stream, any type of content, share it with your audience. Tell your, like, I will share it in an email whenever I've been a guest on someone else's show because I would hope that someone else would do that whenever they guest on my content. And then the second thing is you just got to tell people Tell people how you want them to share the content. It's so, so important. Don't assume that everyone knows what to do because we don't. I say that as a collective we because I didn't know when I was the first guest on someone's podcast, I had no idea what to do. I was brand new. So just assume that people need a little handholding. I don't think it's coddling. I don't think it's something that's like, oh, that's so patronizing to tell people explicitly what to do. No, I think it is a great idea to have a few guidelines to help people create a successful environment for your content. And it's more likely to happen if you tell them what those expectations are and how y'all can help each other. So all of this is going to be in the show notes. Go to crystalprofit.com forward slash episode 334 for everything that we talked about today. I'm also going to link to the recent YouTube video that we did. So you can use that as a point of reference for all the things that we talked about today. But that's all I have for you. So if this is your first time tuning in, make sure you hit the follow or subscribe button wherever you listen to podcast. And I would love it if you would take a screenshot and tag me on social media and let me know what you thought about today's episode. And I will make sure and reshare this in my Instagram stories because I think it's so fun when y'all tag me and I can reshare it and just we can have a little content celebration about all the things that we are learning together. But that's all I have for you today. So as always, remember, keep it up. We all have to start somewhere. Hey, Profit Podcast listeners, thanks for sticking around to a little bit after the episode to hear this special message because I want to hear from you. 
We are starting a new segment called Fan Mail Shoutouts, and I want to hear from you, and I want to hear your questions. What do you want to know? What questions have you been dying to ask me? So here's how to make this happen. Go to the app where you're listening to this podcast right now. Go there. I'll wait a second. Okay. Now, once you're there, you're going to see a hyperlink at the top of the episode description that says, send Crystal a text message. And that's all I want you to do. Send me a text. It could be casual, informal. It could be totally anonymous. Or if you want, you can include your name and the name of your podcast or content, wherever you are creating. And I will give you a special shout out in an upcoming episode. So again, go to the show notes for where you're listening to this episode right now. And it will say, send Crystal a text message. And I cannot wait to hear from you and give you a shout out in an upcoming segment of fan mail shout outs.